Hi, welcome to this CAD Image Tools 3D Profiler tutorial. In this example, we'll look at how we can get a steel profile to follow a complex shape. The complex shape that we're going to use for our example is this mesh, which is forming a canopy. At the moment, there's nothing supporting the mesh, so we're going to propose that our structural steel beam picks up the edge of our mesh. In plan, we simply select the mesh and from our CAD image menu, choose CAD image, 3D profiler, extrude along selected elements. This will prompt us to open up the profiler tool and we can then choose a steel profile or an interior trim or a general extrusion. We're going to choose a steel profile and select the profile that we'd like to use. We've already loaded the path. You can either choose a closed or an open path. I'm going to open this path because I'm going to edit it slightly later on. Next, the profile. This is using a 150 parallel flange channel. You can also adjust the size and adjust the anchor points of this. If we just leave the settings as they are and click OK, Have a look in 3D, and there's our profile following our beam, the edge of our mesh. At the moment, my profile is sitting above the mesh, and the C section is facing inwards. I want it to be flipped around the other way. So I'm going to change my anchor point from point number one to point number five, and flip the section over. Also change the model material so it's a little bit easier to see. There we go. So now the section is running along the top edge and following all the complex geometry of our mesh. If we go back to plan, we can see that our profile is actually following inside the wall and at the bottom of our mesh where it touches the ground. You may not want these points. So we can select our profile and use our editing mode to take out some of these additional points. At the moment my profile is a closed profile. Breaking it, it'll break it at the point that I haven't currently selected, which will now allow me to edit it as if it was a polyline. Have another look in 3D. So now my profile is just following the edge of my beam. You can also adjust the end cut angles so that we can get a nice mitering joint of our steel structure. So a great way to finish a complex design.